what's going on guys? It's your boy Keed. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going back in time just to around uh, two years or something like that when I was a junior in high school and when I had one of the craziest teachers ever. Like this teacher was full on psycho, dude. There was a time when she had a mental breakdown and actually gave every single person in the class a detention. Now, real quick, before we do get into today's video, I did just want to let you guys know I do have a Discord server, Instagram, and Twitter all linked down below in the description. So please be sure to go check those out. Also, if this video makes it to 100 likes, I will do a whole series about this teacher. Because trust me, I have a lot of stories about this psycho teacher to tell. She is literally one of the most psychotic people I have ever met. So yeah, smash like if you want to see that. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's all go serve a detention real quick. Yeah. Okay, so this is the story about how my whole entire class got sentenced to a detention by a psycho teacher. Now, I personally wasn't the best kid in school, so I served detentions all of the time. Like, getting detention was very, very common for me. Like, it's nothing special if I get a detention. But this teacher really went out and gave every single person in my class a detention. Now, that was actually crazy. Like, I don't even know how that's legal or allowed in the school. But regardless, she went out and did it anyway. So yeah, this teacher was like so unfair. Like she would fail people without any good reason whatsoever. She'd make you go to the principal's office over, I don't know, chewing gum. She literally got some kids suspended because he was on his phone in class too much. She was quite literally insane. Now I don't want to go out and just say her name because I feel like I could actually get in trouble for that or something, even though I'm already graduated from the school. But for privacy reasons, in this video, I'm going to be calling her Mrs. Smith. That's not actually her real name, but that's what we're going to be calling her in this video. So, I come from a really small town, and my school was really small. Like, my graduating class had around 60 students or something like that. So, you knew almost everybody who went there, including the teachers. So, there were actually some really cool teachers at my school. Like, I had this one teacher that would literally let us cheat on our tests and just do whatever we wanted to in class. But Mrs. Smith, oh, Mrs. Smith. She was the polar opposite of that. Mrs. Smith was a history teacher, and she would give us assignments where we had to do chapter review questions out of our textbooks, and the answers are word for word in the chapter. Like, for example, one of the questions we had to answer was, like, a definition of a word, and in the beginning of the chapter, it would say the definition of a word. So everyone would virtually have the same answers due to the fact we were just taking what it said in the book and using it to answer questions. Well, Mrs. Smith thought otherwise. Mrs. Smith decided, oh, you guys all have the same answers? That's copying. And then she gave everyone zeros on that assignment because she actually thought that every single person in the class cheated off of each other. Like I said earlier, this teacher was quite literally insane. So now on to the actual story of how Mrs. Smith went out and gave the whole entire class a detention. So when you first got to Mrs. Smith class, you had to put your phone in like some phone holder hanging up in the back of the room. And if she didn't see your phone back there, she would get so angry. And if she didn't see your phone back there, she would not put you on the attendance and she would get very angry over it. Like if you're there, that day your phone better be back there or else well one day my friend uh wanted to be able to use his phone in class so he brought in a piece of cardboard shaped like a phone and put it in the phone holder in his usual spot and she didn't even realize that it was a piece of cardboard there instead of a phone so he was able to keep his phone on him during class and use it all he wanted to so after we all figured out that she wouldn't notice what we put in the phone holder and we can just put whatever in there and still have our phone throughout the day we started putting some really dumb stuff in there we would put staplers, hole punchers, shoes, a bunch of random crap in there. And she would literally not even notice that someone put like a shoe in her phone holder rather than a phone. So we kept messing with her by putting random stuff in the phone holder until one day when she noticed a three hole puncher in the phone holder rather than an actual phone. And man, oh man, did she get so mad over it. Like I have never seen Mrs. Smith this angry in my whole entire life. The bell for the next class had just rang and she would not let us leave. She had us all stuck in her class uh just to sit there and be lectured about a hole puncher being in a phone holder it was literally the dumbest thing ever she said if it ever happened again that there were going to be some serious consequences then she let us go the next day came around and we actually had a substitute teacher that day so we were all really happy we didn't have to deal with mrs smith that day but one of my friends came up with the bread idea to uh steal the phone holder and take it home with them now we all actually thought it would be super hilarious if he stole the phone holder and took it home because she is so passionate over this 
phone holder for no reason whatsoever. So while the substitute teacher was out in the hallway, my friend took down the phone holder that was hanging in the back of the class and put it in their backpack, all before the substitute teacher came back in. So basically everyone in the class kind of knew what was happening, but they were all in on it. No one was going to snitch because like everyone in the class was pretty cool uh, that we were all friends with each other and didn't really have any beef, no reason to snitch over stuff like that. And we all also hated Mrs. Smith. Literally everyone in the class hated her. So yeah, like basically a couple of my friends stole this iPhone holder that our teacher adored for no reason. Then the next day of school came around. Uh, we walked into class and Mrs. Smith was sitting at her desk, not making a single sound, not moving whatsoever, just sitting super still. And after every single person made it into the classroom, she literally went super sane on us. Like she was so angry over someone stealing her iPhone holder. We literally had to sit through a 45 minute class of Mrs. Smith raging over an iPhone holder. It was so stupid. She wanted to know who did it and she basically said to the whole class that if someone doesn't fess up right now, then everyone will have detention. Now this sounded so ridiculous. Like there's no way a teacher can make every single student in the class stay after school for a detention. But no one fessed up. No one snitched. No one said anything. So she actually ended up sentencing every single one of us in the class a detention. It was beyond crazy. Like 20 kids all had to stay after school to go to the same detention. It was just overall terrible. The following day was a Friday and that was the day Mrs. Smith scheduled the detention for. So we all had to stay after school on a Friday for like 30 minutes extra, all because of a missing phone holder. It was one of the worst detentions I've ever served. And let me tell you what, in my high school career, I served a lot of detentions. I had detentions at least two times a week, every single week. I was a little bit of a troublemaker, I guess you could say in high school. And this was literally the worst detention I ever had to do. She would not let any of us put our heads down. She wouldn't let us talk to each other. She was so strict at this detention. We had to sit up, look straight, listen to what she had to say about her phone holder for 30 minutes straight. It was so terrible. We couldn't talk to one another. We couldn't put our heads down or anything. It was low key child abuse. Eventually after a few more days of school, Mrs. Smith did actually end up buying a new iPhone holder and she secured the heck out of that thing, dude. She put wires around it, twisted them all together, stapled it into the wall, put zip ties on it. Like there was no way you were going to get this iPhone holder down. Well, we took that as a challenge. Mrs. Mrs. Smith has basically just started a war with the entire class. Everyone wanted that second phone holder to be gone. We came up with a master plan where we were just going to wait until the next day there's a substitute to take it down or just wing it on the last day of school, whichever one of the two came first. And then we also had this other plan uh, to fake a fight in the hall to get her out of the room so we can take it down real quick. But the whole thing just flopped because Mrs. Smith was just scared of the fight going on in the hallway. So she closed and locked her door and called the teacher next to her. So yeah, that, that kind of just flopped. And also she hasn't missed a day of school since the whole phone hole incident like she was dedicated to making sure that phone holder number two wasn't going anywhere and we were all dedicated to make sure that we took the new phone holder stuff wasn't looking so bright for us because mrs smith and she was just scared of fighting so we had to wait for the last day of school and just wing the whole thing on the last day of school we were all ready to get that thing we knew when she went to lunch and we also knew that she keeps the door unlocked when she goes to get food from the teacher's lounge because she actually eats in a room and not with other teachers like a weirdo so we had around a five minute time frame or so to get the phone hold her down and get out of her room well lunchtime came around we went over to her room the door was unlocked we got in and my one friend got scissors to cut the zip ties while my other friend uh worked on on twisting the wire and getting the staples out they got the phone holder off of the wall and then we didn't know where to put it so my one friend hopped up on a desk and put it in the ceiling in Mrs. Smith's room. We were able to put it in the ceiling because her room had one of those tile ceilings where you could just lift up the tiles and put them back in place. And it looks like they were never touched. So yeah, my friend put the phone holder in the ceiling. And as far as we all know, the phone holder is still up there to this day. Unfortunately though, we never did get to see Mrs. Smith's reaction to the whole thing. But I mean, the whole thing was just so funny because well, because we stole our teacher's phone holder twice. And the second time we put it in the ceiling. And yeah, that's basically the story of how my whole entire class had to serve a detention because of a crazy psycho teacher who was mad over a phone holder. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching this video all the way to here. You watching the video to the end really, really helps me out so much. And you guys are all G's for that. Don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And yeah, guys, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Peace.
Ow. Yeah, Pete has a D to keep it real. Swallow the pill, show me the thrill. Follow the dream to keep it silly. Grind on the daily just to stay up late. Money is great, but the fans are what makes it okay. He wants a smile on your face, never see a frown. And on the rainy days, he'll keep on grinding till he makes his place in the world.